so listen to this. Rishi Sunak goes, quote, What we do now know is that the Scottish government does not want to support the Scottish energy industry and the 200,000 jobs that it produces, close quote. Well, he's absolutely right there. But that's not the rhetoric that I would have used, because listen to that. What we do now know is that the Scottish government does not want to support the Scottish energy industry. No, it's not the Scottish government. It's the SNP and the Greens do not want to support the Scottish energy industry, okay? So you are the Prime Minister. You use that as a teaching moment against your political opponents. You see, for most of us, for most of us, the phrase the Scottish government is very abstract. It's very abstract and it's very removed from our day-to-day -day existence. And when we think of the Scottish government, we don't really know exactly to whom that is referring because it's referring to an awful lot of people, including civil servants as well. But you're the prime minister, so you want to have, be having a go at your political opponents. So you want to rephrase that. This is what you want to say. We, What we do now know is that the SNP and the Greens do not want to support the Scottish energy industry. That's what you say. The SNP and the Greens. Or you make it even more personal. What we do now know is that Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP and Patrick Harvey and the Scottish Greens do not want to support the Scottish energy industry. That's what you do. You nail it down personal because politics is about the personal. OK, so goodness me, the SNP make it personal. Oh, they make it very personal when they're criticising the Tories or Sudak, or any of these people. They make it personal, okay? And it hits home, and it works. So stop using this sterile, abstract phrase, the Scottish government, which is not even correct as well, because as we know, the Scottish government is not on a par with the British Parliament and with the British government. So, so many mistakes he's using. One, he's not making it personal. He's using this abstract phrase called the Scottish government. Number two, he's saying, he's putting subliminally, subconsciously into our heads the idea that this thing called the Scottish government is somehow on a par with the British government, which is not. Now, if he, if he can't get over talking about the Scottish government, at least say this, at least talk about the devolved Scottish government or the Scottish devolved government. At least put it into the proper constitutional context. Don't just be throwing out the phrase there like our two governments, the Scottish government and the British government. No, no. You can talk about the British government and the devolved Scottish government so that people understand the relationship. Because believe me, and I'm going to talk about this in a moment, most people don't understand that constitutional relationship. The idea that the British government is the central one and that the Scottish one is devolved from it. So you should be saying that. You shouldn't be saying the Scottish government. You should be saying the devolved Scottish government, if that is you insist on using that phrase at all. And secondly, I don't like this phrase, the Scottish government, because for most of us, we hear the word Scottish, and we like the word Scottish. And so if you're using the word Scottish government in a negative context... There will be some people out there that just hear the word Scottish, get a knee-jerk reaction, and won't listen any further. So that's another reason why you shouldn't use that phrase Scottish government in a negative context. It's another reason why you should be more specific. You should be talking about the SNP and the Greens, or as we're calling them now, the SNP Greens, all one word the SNP Greens, because it's, it's becoming very clear that is, in fact, what we're dealing with. It's not two parties. It's one party called the SNP Greens. So there you go. Three reasons not to use that phrase.